welcome to my Lisbon, Portugal vlog. I arrived about an hour ago and have now made it into the city. I'm so excited to be here, but I am pretty exhausted. The flight was about six hours, which is not that long. So between the meals, I didn't really have time to sleep. I maybe slept for like an hour or two. So yeah, I'm pretty tired. It's about 10 o'clock. I can't actually check into my Airbnb until three. So I don't know, I'm just gonna hang out, probably listen to my audiobook until then. I can't drop my luggage off though early, so that's nice. This is a solo trip for me, my third international solo trip in the last year, and I'm so excited. Okay, so they were actually already done cleaning the Airbnb, so I was able to check in early, which is super nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick tour. It's just a really small apartment, perfect for just a few nights. Okay, you walk in and there's the bathroom with a really big bathtub, which I'm excited about, shower, you know, just a normal little bathroom. And then there is a kitchen, there's a stove top, microwave, there's even a dishwasher, and then, you know, a bunch of kitchen stuff, normal. <laughs> then this is the little living area. This converts into a bed. And then there's some comfy seats, a little sitting area, TV, and then there's actually a balcony as well. Not like a super great view, but it's still really nice. Also, there's a lot of mirrors, which I love. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go do some grocery shopping because I'm super hungry. Okay, I haven't even made it to the grocery store yet, but I had to stop at this cafe right next to the Airbnb to get some of these little like custard tarts. I'll do a little voiceover about what they are, but it's like one of the top things to get in Portugal and they're apparently delicious. So I'm excited to try them. And this box of six was 6.90 euro. So they're about a euro each. These egg custard tarts are a staple in Portugal. The original recipe was created a few hundred years ago by monks who needed a way to use up egg yolks after using the whites to starch clothing. Okay, I just devoured that. It was so, so good. It was nice and warm. The outside was really, really light and crispy and the inside was really gooey with the custard and just so sweet and delicious. I just ate it plain but usually you'll put like um, powdered sugar or cinnamon on it and they came with little packages of those so I'll try some of the other ones that way but yeah that was really good. Also it is a beautiful day today a little bit chilly but super sunny and just gorgeous. I'm here at the very beginning of February and it's supposed to be in like the low 60s, high 50s while I'm here. So it's gonna be pretty nice. Okay, I spent way too long in that first grocery store before I realized it was more of a health food store and everything was like tofu and vegan and kind of expensive. But I already had so much stuff in my like little cart thing. So I ended up buying a couple things there and then went to another grocery store that was more like a regular grocery store and got some provisions. <laughs> I didn't really get that much stuff, but I'll kind of show you when I get back to the apartment. Okay, so this is everything I got. Just some oat milk, cereal, um, stuff to make sandwiches, juice, and some fruit. And this was about 17 euro. Okay, I accidentally took kind of a long nap, which is pretty much to be expected because that's what always happens. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot take a short nap. Now I am going up to this viewpoint for sunset. Could have taken the funicular, but I'm walking because I need the exercise <laughs> and I'm crazy, but hopefully there's really good views. Okay, I'm not to the top yet, but it's looking pretty good. Yeah, the city is really, really hilly. So I'm definitely gonna get a workout.
the views from here were great. I could see St. George's Castle, which I'll actually be skipping on this trip. I didn't stay for sunset though. Instead, I walked down many stairs to the square again. Okay, so I did get Burger King for dinner. Don't judge me, but it was really easy and cheap. So it is what it is. I'm gonna go head back to the apartment, chill for the rest of the night, and I will see you in the morning for day two in Lisbon. Good morning. Hopefully it's not too windy and you can hear me. Today's goal is to just kind of visit a lot of the viewpoints in the city because like I said yesterday, it's a really hilly city. So there's a lot of really nice viewpoints. I think the one I'm at now is the highest in the city. Not 100% sure. This actually was not the highest point. Stick around to the end to see sunset from the highest point. I rode the iconic number 28 tram up here and had actually got off at the wrong stop, like one stop too much. Cause the goal was to just ride the tram up and then like walk down. So I still ended up having to backtrack a little bit uphill, but it was not that bad. Okay, well, it looks like the next viewpoint I was gonna go to is kind of blocked off, so. It's been a little chilly today, so that sun feels really nice. And there's an awesome view of the water right here. Okay, like a minute from that last one is this one, and it's really nice. I love all the views of the rooftops. The next viewpoint was my favorite. It was next to Santa Luisa Church, which had beautiful tiles and a pergola. Okay, so I've made it to this plaza. I'll put the name on the screen. I finished doing the viewpoints like way faster than I thought. So I'm gonna kind of do some stuff that I planned on doing tomorrow because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I only have one other thing I was going to do today, which is the National Tile Museum. And I'll probably do that later this afternoon. The Santa Justa lift was built in 1906 by a student of Gustav Eiffel. You can use a 24 hour public transport pass to ride it, but I skipped the line and walked the streets up to the bridge. You can also pay to go to a slightly higher platform, but I suggest saving a couple of euros and just enjoying the view from the bridge. Next, I popped into the Carmo Convent, which was partially destroyed in an earthquake in 1755. They even have a resident cat that is super friendly and so cute. 
The archaeological museum here has a lot of artifacts, but I mostly just love the building's architecture. The museum is 5 euros, or it is included with the Lisbon card. I definitely suggest checking it out. Then I visited the oldest operating bookstore in the world, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. It was founded in 1732. It's pretty big on the inside and has a really good selection of books. And the outside is covered in beautiful blue tiles. Okay, it's been a few hours. I was just chilling at the Airbnb. I decided I'm just gonna do the National Tile Museum tomorrow because that seems like a good rainy day activity if it does rain, which I'm pretty sure it's going to. I think it said like a 90% chance. Anyway, I came out for sunset. I came up to this viewpoint that I missed this morning, the highest point in the city, but I really should have left a little bit earlier because I ended up having to wait for the bus and then it didn't stop where I thought, so I had to walk more than I imagined and then I got here like just as the sun was dipping down. So it would have been better if I had been here a little bit earlier for better light, but still a beautiful ending to my second day here in Lisbon. Make sure you are subscribed so you can see the rest of my time here in Portugal. Thank you for watching, like the video, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.